What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and you guys might have seen in yesterday's video Richard actually did his first place Unchained deck profile. If you guys want to check it out, the link will be in the description. But today, Richard's showing us the combos that you need to know. There's two specific combos he wants to show off. So it's what? The standard combo and then the jewel combo. Yep. Okay, so let's get right into it. Alright, so the standard combo is... Easiest way to show it is just new red dog and any card you can pop. In this case, is a trap. Yep. Uh, so in this case, to get your combo started, you just set your poppable card or summon it. You activate Charvara effects to target the card that you're supposed to destroy. You blow it up. And you summon Charvara. And uh, whatever you blow up will trigger to summon a body from your deck. So here, normally I would always pull Shiyama, just because Shiyama's the worst draw. You, never wanna, you don't want to see him in your hand after, right? That's fair, that's fair. So you link these two off for your Soul King Yama. Yama 1, Charvara 2 to set the other trap. In this case, you've already burned one trap, so you set the other trap off of it. But if you um, if you went through a monster instead of the trap, you instead set uh, escape here because you want to recur escape for your follow-up, okay. for your uh, final end board. So... So chain 1, chain 2. Yep. Okay. Uh, so this is also just dodges Ash, right? Yep. That's the other thing. So you set the, the, your trap, and then you search for... Aruha here. In this case, also, it could technically be Rakea because you didn't normal summon, but I'm, I'm playing Aruha just like, just because in case you get like stopped halfway through, you can at least normal summon to keep playing. Okay. Uh, you go Aruha effect, target your set, you blow it up, you summon Aruha out, you use the Aruha effect, sorry, not the Aruha effect, the uh, trap effect in Grave now that you blew it up, yep. to summon the Sarama. Sarama, use the Sarama effect now to target your escape in graveyard to reset it and then you blow up a card on your field. So you reset the escape, you blow up the Aruha. The Aruha will now trigger because it was blown up uh, to summon honestly any name at this point but it has to be a poppable. That's the main thing. So okay. you summon Rakea here, uh, you link these two away for your Soul of Rage. You now activate the Shiyama Engrave because now, uh, to summon itself, so by targeting the Rakeo, you blow this up, you summon it out, and now the Rakeo effect triggers, and then you pull the second red dog from deck. And now you overlay these two for High Wave King, and, if, and that's pretty much your standard end board. Okay, so you have the Trap, High Wave King, and so you, you can link off with your opponent's monster yep. with this, right? Yep, so you have a link, two Solemn Mornings, uh, the Pop, and then a Reborn out of Graveyard with the Yama. So oftentimes what I'll do is like you link away with this into Anguish, you link into Anguish, you use this, pop the Anguish, Anguish 1, Soul King Yama 2. You can now recur either your Anguish, Warrior Soul of Rage, and then you get to add a free card back. In this case, most often I add back Sarama because Sarama is the best follow up you have because it gets your play started by itself. Okay. So, so you're ending on follow up plus two solemn mornings yep. plus a pop plus a link. Yep. Okay. So that's the regular combo. How does the draw combo work? So could you start with the same two cards? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll start it with like a realistic situation where you get drooled. Okay. Let's say you open with A Bomb's Prison instead of one of the other cards here, right? So let's say I open A Bomb's Prison Trap, right? Sure. I go A Bomb's Prison, and then I search Sharvara. But here my opponent decides, hey, this me play Droll here. Okay. So let's say you get Droll here, right? Okay. So now you're under Droll. So what do you do? So uh, you set same standard. You set whatever you're gonna pop. Sharvara effect, blow it up. And now what you summon off of this is different now. You have to summon the your extender here, right? So in this case, you summon a Ruha out, right? Because Soul King Yama says you can add back from Grave, you're gonna summon out your extender or whatever you need to keep comboing right after, instead of the Shiyama. You can just pull out the Shiyama out later and it's not the end of the world. Okay. So you do the standard line again, you link. Here it is. And to Soul King Yama, one, two. Same thing again, uh, you set escape. And then you add this back from your grave. So instead here. of from deck, you're getting it from grave. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Uh, and then you go Aruha, same, same thing as last line. You go Aruha effect on trap, pop trap, summon Sarama, Sarama, set, blow this up, effect. Here you pull the Shiyama out. Okay. And now you have to link away with the Shiyama and the Soul King to get the Shiyama and grave to make your Wave King, right? So you can blow something up to make Wave King. Uh, so I summon Soul of Rage. Shyama, blow this up. 
and summon the second red dog. Here you go overlay. So ending on the same board. Still the same board. This is why Droll does not matter against the deck. Do not play Droll against this deck. So it's the exact same board. You have the top, you have the two Solemn Judgments, or the Solemn Warnings, I mean, the Link Away, and then the follow-up. Yep. And you discarded a card for no reason. So yeah, now you know your opponent's only on four cards, or five when they draw, but they lost a card for nothing. Yeah. All right. Cool combos. I mean, uh... I can see why it loses to Nip, though. Yeah. <laughs> it does lose to Nip. But this deck's really cool. Thank you, Richard, for showcasing the combos. I know a lot of people are going to want to see how to play through hand traps, stuff like Droll and whatnot, especially because it's so popular in today's format. So thank you for that. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed it. And with that, Spanko and Richard signing out. Peace.